Well, Alan's been sitting with me now for um, over two hours uh, since we first saw, went to Pride Live tonight, and I'm sure I speak for him as well as myself. You know, I didn't want to leave my seat. I just wanted to drag the kickoff nearer. And now here we are, mere moments away. The Real fans who've been relatively quiet in opposition to the Juve supporters, they, they're flag-waving at the moment. They're predominantly to our left. Juventus supporters to our right. The stadium is full. Even the UEFA guests have taken their seats. Presumably they had a nice meal, Alan. And Alan's absolutely delighted because the music's now shifted off the pitch and we're now talking about football again. <laughs> yes, please, <laughs> please. Still three massive banners that have to be removed and then the uh, uh, material on which that performance uh, went underway. That is the anthem. Does it make the hair stand up on the back of your neck? It does on mine. The teams emerge from the tunnel away on the far side of the field, led out uh, by the German referee tonight, the highly respected Felix Brink. Uh, appropriate, a German refereeing a final between Italy and Spain. And the two teams follow him out. From our perspective, it's Real Madrid uh, to, to the left and uh, Juventus to the right. Real Madrid are, quote, the away team this evening. So they're going to be playing in a purple outfit, all purple. Real Madrid uh, to our left at the moment, lined up. Juventus in their regular black and white striped shirts, white shorts, white socks. And the anthem is near its conclusion. And then there'll be guests of honour. You can see the Champions League trophy itself set on a pedestal. It's a good, I think, 150, 200 yards away from that rear setting. And the players, I'm sure, won't have touched the trophy on the way out. They'll probably have averted their eyes as well. The job is yet to be done on it. And all, all these players started this competition back in September. And now in June, there's been so much hard work put in by every single one of those players. The managers, they just can't wait to get started now. They want to get out there, they want to, they want to touch that, uh, that ball straight away. And we're late already. <laughs> just like the European Championship final. The, the final ambassador, Ian Rush, comes out carrying the Champions League trophy. Rush, uh, who played for Juventus, of course, played for Liverpool, was a winner uh, with Liverpool. At this moment, we welcome listeners to the BBC World Service. We're also joined tonight, I'm delighted to say, by Radio Wales. So we've got a huge audience uh, hearing our five live coverage. Rushy holds the trophy aloft and now takes it away. It won't emerge again until the conclusion to the final. And you still, your gut instinct, Alan Shearer, is still in the QB. Yes, it is, simply because of, of, of how they've defended most games in this competition this year they've been absolutely superb so experienced at the uh, at the back with that back three we think it's going to be Chiellini, Benucci and Barzagli and of course with a huge experience behind them also of, uh, of Gigi Buffon so for that reason that yes I'm going to stick with uh, with Juventus it should be a cracking game some incredible players on show both going forward and defensively really really excited about this one I mentioned Higuain's uh, connection to Real Madrid. Also, uh, Kadira was in the Real uh, side in 2014. Um, he was at Real Madrid between 2010 and 2015. So he's got lots of pals on the other side, and it was great when they came out to warm up, Alan. There were lots of genuine smiles and hugs from players of the different sides. Yeah, absolutely, and that was, that was great to see. And it's, it's, it's what you call respect, isn't it? Is that you've played with guys over the years, you've played against them over the years, and you know how much it means to them also. But I tell you what, once that whistle goes, there's no friends out on that pitch. Well, the co uh, coin has been tossed uh, after Buffon and Ramos exchange handshakes and hugs on the halfway line on the far side of the field. Now they pose for a photograph that they will treasure in years to come. Uh, Buffon dressed all in yellow tonight and uh, the purple outfit of Sergio Ramos now let me give you the two lineups in full starting with quote the home team Juventus the goalkeeper is Gigi Buffon the back three is Barzagli Bonucci and Chiellini 
Then we've got Dani Alves, Kadira, Panic and Sandro across midfield. And then Dybala, the Argentine, just hanging back behind Mandzukic and Higuain. Real Madrid's goalkeeper is Navas. Their back four, Carvajal, Ramos, Varane and Marcelo. Then it's Cruz, Casimiro and Modric. Then Isco, Benzema and Ronaldo. Bale came out to warm up, of course. Um, he was slightly late coming out. Uh, I don't know whether that was deliberate. He probably desperately wanted to start this game. I'm sure he will figure it. As we're underway and I make it nearly five minutes late, <laughs> just before 10 to 8, uh, certainly in my watch, and it's uh, Real Madrid defending the goal to our left in the first half, and immediately the ball's out of play in this near side of the field for a throw in which is taken by uh, Sandro for Juventus. Rather squandered the ball, hit back towards the halfway line, and then it's headed on. Juventus on the attack here. It's with Higuain. Higuain feeds it towards the right hand side. And that's Danny Alves immediately challenged by Marcelo. Ball squirts away into the centre circle. And the first heavy challenge goes in, just showing you that the smiles are over. Time for the real game of football. Juventus in possession at the moment. Play towards the left side and Sandro Sandro's going to cross the ball towards the edge of the uh, penalty area for Real Madrid it's taken away by Modric Modric is then tripped and it's a free kick to if Real Madrid if there's any question marks about which system that Juventus were going to play then Dani, Dani Alves has pushed right on that far right hand side and when Juventus were pushing forward there he was giving them the width as, as we expect to so as we expected three at the back um, Chiellini Barzagli and Benucci and, Benucci and uh, Alves and Sandro left and right free kick taken by Madrid to Modric Modric drives it long towards Benzema Benzema jumped but he jumped into the defender and uh, that's a free kick to Juventus it will take a few minutes just to settle down it always does don't care how good these players are they're tense there's so much at stake Juve free kick is taken now Sandro plays it in from the left hand side and it's worked forward by Juventus into the Madrid half uh, now Modric collects for the holders of the trophy Real Madrid winners 11 times and they've won all 5 of their Champions League finals now it's hooked in by Marcelo and over the line it goes to Isco back to Marcelo on the far side of the field Ronaldo's in the central position at the moment uh, Real breaking down the left side and then they run into that formidable Juventus defence taking the ball off them and now try to play for the Juventus throw -in. he'll be a key man tonight as well Modric you mentioned him trying to get an early touch of the ball there fantastic player should be a key player Allegri uh, very close to where uh, his player is taking a throw in on the far side of the field now Juventus inside the Madrid half oh, aggressive challenge there by Real Madrid I think the Madrid player came off worse the ball breaks uh, to Juventus on this near side it's with Sandu checking the ball onto his leg crossing the ball in, and then the header goalwards uh, but it was comfortably saved by Navas we are our position is very very high up we are actually almost of uh, Barcelona proportions uh, that far away from the pitch but here we go Juventus on the attack again the Madrid player who had gone down injured has got up again and uh, he seems to be okay another hefty challenge on the far side of the field where it's won by Barzagli and fed in field now on by Higuain Higuain runs forward drives the shot in low never spills it but uh, not to any great harm he punches on it before any other player can approach Juventus are having the better of this opening play here They're passing the ball around with real intent and Higuain there had no other option but to go past the player and have that shot at goal from 20-25 yards out give the keeper a problem so Juventus have settled rather more quickly than Real Madrid we haven't seen anything of Cristiano Ronaldo so far his time will come without doubt now it's Barat to Ramos the Real Madrid captain Ramos moves forward flicks the ball to the left to Marcelo Marcelo's just a yard short of the halfway line looking optimistically uh, towards Benzema it was intercepted by Juventus actually goes out and play off a Real player it's going to be a Juventus throw about eight yards short of the halfway line on the far side of the field they're right in the first half Juventus nil Real Madrid nil not just five live listeners here tonight world service listeners 
and Radio Wales. Welcome to all of you, wherever you may be. Stop what you're doing and just concentrate on this huge game of football from the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. Sergio Ramos takes that ball down off his chest and then lobs it towards the halfway line, towards Benzema, headed back by Juventus into Madrid territory, picked up by Modric. Modric flicks it to the right side and it's with Carvajal. And Carvajal rushes over the halfway line, almost loses control of the ball, keeps it in play according to the system on the near side of the field. I think the Juve uh, opponents thought the ball had crossed the line, but the assistant was in a great position to see. And now it's still with Real Madrid. It's with Modric inside the centre circle to the captain Ramos, on to Marcelo on the far side of the field, playing it down that left touch line. Ronaldo's around the edge of the D, but uh, the ball's not going his way. It's intercepted by Juventus. Juventus defending well at the moment, and they win another throw in the far side of the field. It's also noticeable when Madrid had the ball there, Pjanic, the number five, when they just given that little bit of protection in front of that back three for in front of Benzema in front of uh, Ronaldo also here's Tanic again Tanic uh, plays it forward the, hoping for the return pass but it's not to him instead it's to Bonucci and Bonucci sweeps it towards the left side where it's headed on uh, to Sandro that was g good work by Juventus down the left flank taken up now uh, by Dybala Dybala playing it back to Tanya John to the far side of the field there's the cross in into the penalty dangerous position it's still in play on this near side just to the left of the penalty area crossed into the Real box once more here's a shot coming in by Fanny great save by Namas the first terrific save of the game though the flag was up for offside he still needed to make the save I'll tell you what it was absolutely brilliant play from Danny Alves down that right hand side he whipped that ball in they couldn't handle it and the ball comes back out to Pjanic what a magnificent save that is from Navas one handed strong ball never likely to get past her but it was a, a shot accurately on target they could have brought the first goal of the evening and not only saving it Alan but actually pushing it away from the danger area yes he could have pushed it out he didn't he pushed it wide excellent save by the Costa Rican goalkeeper who of course replaced the great Iker Casillas they look, much, they look much, much sharper than Real Madrid at this moment in time. They're one touch passion and two touch, whipping balls into the box, and Madrid haven't got into this game yet. Seven minutes gone, it's nil nil, but Juventus are the early side, are, are the better side in the early moments of the game. Now there's a foul uh, by Carvajal, free kick to Juventus. Carvajal hasn't retreated, still doesn't want to go back. Mandzukic is there. Mandzukic finally leaves it Mandzukic of course rather more important than the opposition half of the field instead it's going to be Chiellini who takes it Chiellini coming forward one of the three central defenders just taps it short takes the return pass almost on the halfway line feeds it in field and the, the header on went to Sergio Ramos Ramos clears it up Isco feeds it on but doesn't find a colleague and Juventus give it back now they give it away again it's Cruz to Marcelo on the far side of the field but trying to get down that left flank tackled and it must have hit uh, Marcelo last because it's out for a Juventus throw in. That oh, was actually Iguain coming back tackling Marcelo there. Working so hard, Juventus, but that's what we expect of them. Uh, they know that probably there are better individual players on the Real Madrid team. It's the collective ethic that we see from Juventus. That's what makes them such a threat to Real Madrid tonight in their ambitions to retain the Champions League trophy. Here's Modric for Real on to Ronaldo Ronaldo falls over thinks he was fouled he wasn't fouled glares at the referee and gets the jeers from the Juventus fans for trying to win the free kick which is Panic inside the centre circle laying it back to Bonucci and Bonucci hits it long that could be a very accurate ball Mandzukic was up there and got a little nudge in the back from the defender that was quite clever play and it uh, runs through the Navas he just made that diagonal run didn't he Mandzukic from the left hand side here Morel looking down there, he made the diagonal run into the middle and the long ball nearly caught Madrid out. Here's Casemiro with a powerful run forward, now taken up by Modric. Modric to the right side and Ronaldo. They're well, struggling to make an impact on the game, but that's a good ball to the edge of the penalty. Then the tackle came quickly in and Juventus cleared the danger. Should clear it properly, almost gave it away again. No, that's good work by Juventus, coming out of defence. Mandzukic again. They're really on song, the Italian side at the moment. They look very, very sharp. And there was Dybala back, you know, 20 yards short of the halfway line. 
Great work by Juventus. Sweeping pass to the left side, but it's uh, behind the intended target. And it's hard to play for a throw into Real Madrid. We played nearly 10 minutes. Juventus nil, Real Madrid nil. You have far more options than Madrid at this moment in time. More players are wanting the ball. One, two touch. Very, very quick. Varane to Ramos. And now Marcelo on the far side. On the halfway line. On to Benzema. Back to Marcelo. Uh, and to his captain, Sergio Ramos. And he just taps the ball 15 yards to his right. And it's fed on by Varane to Carvajal. Carvajal in to Isco. Isco was foul tackle. And that's a free kick to Real Madrid. Just a yard over the halfway line. No great rush to take it. Modric finally comes forward. Plays it securely back to Varane. And now it's taken up by Cruz. He feeds it to the left side of Marcelo. Ronaldo with a run forward into the penalty. The ball, the pass, looking for him. Again, he's tackled. Again, he looks around at the referee as if he was fouled. And the referee, Felix Brick, shakes his head. He might look around, but he also has got a little smile there when he looks at the referee. Never a penalty. <laughs> but why not try it on, Cristiano? Goal kick to Juventus. Played short. And now they move it forward securely to the left side and Chiellini Chiellini uh, to Tanić who already looks a very important player for Juventus in these early moments uh, going into the tackle again but Modric stepped away from it then Modric's pass wasn't great to Ronaldo and as is Ronaldo's way glares back at Modric as if why couldn't it have been better that pass well Modric did very well actually winning the ball back instead of going towards the ball Ronaldo he actually ran the other way and Modric played the ball short too, and of course, Juventus won it back straight away again. I'd like to say Alan Shearer is alongside me in the commentary position tonight here in Cardiff. Now, Cruz was definitely held back there, and it's the first yellow card of the game. Wow, um, that's uh, to Devala. Well, he definitely pulled Cruz back. He knew he, got, he knew he got the wrong side of him, didn't he? Yep. A little trip there. Not sure it was necessary to take that yellow card. Still, it's early on in the game, in the 12th minute of the match. Free kick to Real Madrid. Strange seeing in this all purple outfit. <laughs> it's taken by Cruz to Modric. Back to Cruz, into Casemiro. And Casemiro is looking to the right flank. He plays it to Varane, first of all. Carvajal is over on this near side. Taken up by Carvajal, the right fullback again. In now to Casemiro on to the far side in Cruz Marcelo takes it up and Marcelo crosses into the penalty good control by Benzema edge of the box and then he feeds it forward he must have used his hand and it was well spotted by the German referee free kick Juventus that's what Real Madrid have to do they have to get a feel of that football just pass it around as he did they pinged them all up into there into Benzema he was on his own in the box but look who's around him <laughs> he's unfortunate there Benzema because his first touch uh did control the ball and then it knocked up in the air and he thought use my arm didn't get away with it no uh, it's connected now this is a better spell for Real Madrid and it's run forward by Isco towards the far side towards Benzema Ronaldo uh, now into the penalty here. there's the cross deep looking for Ronaldo headed away by Bonucci and brought under control on the far side of the field by Danny Alves Alves runs forward almost got himself into trouble and then he, uh, he does after being tackled, squirt the ball out of play and it's a, a throw in to Real Madrid on the halfway line. Nil nil, Juventus and Real Madrid, 13 minutes gone in Cardiff. Just starting to feel their way into the game a little bit better now, aren't they? More players having a touch of the ball and passing it around a lot better. Ronaldo jumps out of that challenge, gets the ball back successfully to Varane. Now it's with Carvajal the right back into Modric. Modric and Panic, you can see already a key figures in the respective midfield now Isco back uh, to the halfway line in Cruz and that's given away by Casemiro that was careless Juventus take it up with Higuain Casemiro gets a challenge in knocks the ball away to the right side plays a 1-2 with Carvajal and now it's back with Varane and Real Madrid in control of possession again Sergio Ramos onto Marcelo on the far side of the field he left in this first half for Real Madrid a nice pass from Isco and now Casemiro again. Casemiro looks at the right flank and Carvajal definitely on the game now, Real Madrid. Carvajal trying to get past the defender but Sandro as well holding him off. Then it's taken up by Carvajal but not uh, 
without a legal use of some part of his body, it's a free kick Juventus. I'm not necessarily thinking that's a foul, you know. Sandro's trying to let that ball out. He's got run the ball out for a goal kick. It's got no pace on it whatsoever. If anything, Sandro pulls him. For, forward, look, Carvajal has got every opportunity to try and get that ball. I didn't think that was a foul at all. So the free kick is just two yards in advance of the goal line to the left of the penalty area. Buffon, who hasn't had to make a save yet, uh, plays it to Bonucci. Bonucci quickly hurls it towards the halfway line, knocked back by Real Madrid. But again, I think the referee indicating a handball there by uh, one of the uh, Real players. Not sure who it was. Oh, the, the foot was high from Casimiro. That's what it was. So, free kick, uh, yet to be taken correctly. It's inside the centre circle. Still 0 0, Juventus and Real Madrid. Juve have only conceded three goals in the entire Champions League campaign this season. Now they cross the ball into the penalty area, the Real penalty area. Knocked away to Modric, back by Casemiro to Carvajal, and Carvajal looking further upfield. Feeds it to Benzema. Now Casemiro, that's good work. Finding Isco. Isco just to the right of the centre circle. Holds off two challenges. Plays it back to Barat. That was applauded by the Real Madrid fans. And now it's Cruz. Cruz into Ronaldo, who's dropped deep to get involved in the possession. Cruz again. Into Isco. Isco tackled twice, but still keeps the ball in Real's possession. Now it's looked towards the near side. Uh, to Carvajal. Back to Modric. Juventus have everybody back inside their own half at the moment. Cruz takes it up, the German, he's tackled, but the ball squirts conveniently for Real to Casemiro, now Modric once more, to the right of the centre circle, playing it towards the left flank, toward Marcelo, great control by the full back, exactly a wing back really isn't he, uh, plays it back, and Modric collects it again, Modric to the right side now, and Carvajal, 16 and a half minutes gone, nil-nil here in Carter, listening on World Service, uh, Radio Wales, and of course Five Live. Marcelo on the far side. Marcelo taps it forward to Benzema. Ronaldo is alone, representing Real Madrid in the penalty. Marcelo might get the ball in now. He does play it in, but there are plenty of defenders back there, and one of them is back to to play for a throw in. Much better from Real Madrid, stretching that Juventus back three. Carvajal on one side, and Marcelo on the other, other side, that side, and did very well to get uh, behind the, uh, that, the defender and whip the ball into the box there, but again dealt with with Chiellini kicking it away lot of quality out there it's so obvious in the early stages these are exceptional teams with exceptional players even if we're yet to see the first goal in the game who knows they might cancel each other out aye uh, the referee gives a free kick after a foul by Casemiro uh, Casemiro arguing with the Juve player a challenge oh, ok it was a foul it's not a lot on it didn't not, it not a yellow card yellow challenge card. It was noticeable, though, wasn't it? The Juventus players went straight running to the referee to try and get a yellow card because the baller had one five minutes earlier. Juventus feet kick. Driven deep from Mandzukic. Mandzukic trying to head the ball down to a colleague, either Higuain or Dybala. Couldn't find either of them. It's cleared up field. Benzema gets away from his marker. Plays it to the left side. Cristiano Ronaldo collects it. Moving in towards the edge of the penalty. Runs into a... a a cul-de-sac of Juventus players and loses possession. It was a superb play from Benzema. He turned Benucci on the halfway line and played in Ronaldo, but it was Danny Alves running back from the halfway line to come in with a vital tackle there on Ronaldo. Four players, though, converged on Ronaldo. I mean, he's obviously a source of danger. They know that. It's driven upfield now by Juventus. Higuain chases after it. The pass back to the goalkeeper, Navas, and Navas hits the ball out of play slightly open he was under pressure from the UV player it was a long ball up wasn't it yeah it, it's a, route one Varane was quicker than um, Higuain going forward but it was a poor ball as the cross into the, the penalty oh. challenge on Juventus player and then certainly a dispute there Mandzukic being let's say ticked off by Sergio Ramos for going down <laughs> and the referee quickly between them and basically saying to both players wise up I'll make the decision it's noticeable though when Juventus get into those wide positions not wasting any time whether it's Sandra on the left or whether it's Alves on the right hand side not wasting any time getting the ball into the box getting it in there as early as possible into Higuain or Mandzukic it depends which way you look at it um, what Mandzukic actually did there was clever but it was also ugly <laughs> he sort of threw out his right leg to make contact 
with the Real defender and then went down. That's what Ramos was complaining about. Juventus have the ball just to the right of the Real Madrid penalty. Yeah. Might have got a free kick there. Didn't do so. The referee's handling the game well. Here's Modric. Modric to Cruz on the far side. And Cruz runs away from his marker. He's beaten two players. Feeds it forward. And now it's with Ronaldo. Ronaldo to the right of the D. Taps it to the right. Carvalho back to Ronaldo. 1-0. What Such a, a simple goal by Cristiano Ronaldo. What a unbelievable one finish that was. A great ball in for Carvajal on the right-hand side here. Ronaldo free in the box. No one within five yards of him. And he plants it into the right-hand side. Past Buffon. What a finish. It's his 11th Champions League goal of the season. It's only his 105th Champions League goal in total. And get this... It's the 500th goal that Real Madrid has scored in the Champions League era. And that's why they lead Juventus by a goal to nil. Superb play. He started on the right-hand side there. Carvajal running to, to get in behind him. And he put Ronaldo plays him in, but he drifts into the penalty area. Some five or ten yards away from that penalty spot. He doesn't even look up. He knows where the goal is. And it's a superb finish. So controlled. Goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance. <sighs> Zidane applauds, Ronaldo takes the applause, his familiar stance afterwards, legs akimbo, looking at his fans, he's delivered yet again. They, they move the ball with such pace into Benzema, back to Ronaldo, into Carvajal the right-hand side, and it was too quick for Juventus. We said in the first 15 or 20 minutes that the number of bodies the Juventus players get around the ball when being attacked, not on this occasion, because they moved the ball too quick well, let's see how Juventus respond. Here's Higuain, the former Real Madrid player. Tackled and losing possession. It's forward to Benzema. Benzema tries to flick the ball backwards uh, to Cruz. Cruz couldn't collect that. Juventus pick it up again. Halfway inside the Real Madrid half. Juventus nil. Real Madrid won. Ronaldo in the 20th minute of the final here in Cardiff. And now it's on the left side with Sandro for Juventus. Sandro plays it back to Kadira. And it's fed on lots of uh, Juventus players inside the Real Madrid half. But of course we also know that if Real push a lot of players forward, Real can counter-attack with menace. It's back with Bonucci. Bonucci's over the halfway line. You really say that about Bonucci. Bonucci plays it towards the left side and Sandro again. Onto his right foot. The cross is probably too long. No, it's not. Isco headed it away from the danger area. Picked up by Dani Alves. Dani Alves... Tries to sweep the cross in early, it hits Isco and it's out for a throw in the Juventus. Taken by Dani Alves, ball goes back to the Brazilian once more. Then he almost ran into trouble. Panic collects it just on the edge of the tender. Great work by the Bosnian into the box, tried to shoot a goal. Too many defenders back for Real Madrid. One of them blocks it and it's taken away by the side that have just taken the lead. And now there's a free kick for a foul uh, on Cruz by Bonucci. Free kick to Real Madrid. Pjanic did very well getting forward there, very much like Juventus did to the Real Madrid players, but it was the other way around here. They had four or five players around him in the box trying to get as much space. He just couldn't get his shot away. But Itchy got the slightest of touches on that Ronaldo shot, but, you know, it, it's Ronaldo's goal. And as you said, Alan, you know, he, he picked it out immediately. He, he, he wasn't even looking. Well, so He didn't have to look. Such was his sense of the geography of the penalty area. The goals never move and centre forwards know where they are and he, he played Carver Highland but his movement just to pull out a little bit was sublime here he is again and he tried to get past the defender and he wasn't blocked though he shaped when he ran past the defender as if he had been blocked hoping for a free kick wasn't given and Juventus have possession again with Sandro Sandro feeds it in field and now Kidira onto Panic Panic just ahead of the centre circle looking to the right side and he was being directed by Barzagli there to play it to the right towards Dani Alves. Now it comes back into Panic once more. Uh, Kadira. Juventus with everybody far Buffon over the halfway line. And on the attack, down the left flank. Good control by Sandro. Uh, ostensibly their left wing back. Sandro plays it back. Kadira onto his right foot into Panic. Panic spins away from the player marking him, plays it to Sandro, giving him room for the cross, swept into the penalty, a glancing header on, and Isco 
or Marcelo rather with a, a dodgy header away oh brilliantly kept in play by Juventus on the far side of the field determined that uh, keeping the ball in play was better than the throwing now where are they going to attack how are they going to pierce Real Madrid who for the moment are happy just to lead players back and counter attack well, it, for 10 minutes in this game, you met, Juventus had all the ball. Real Madrid couldn't get near the ball. They had two or three good efforts at, at goal, and Navas was doing well to keep them out. But then, slowly but surely, Madrid started to feel their way into the game. Their passing became a lot better, a lot quicker, and the way they hit them on the break, Juventus, for the goal was superb. Good throw out by Navas, the Real Madrid goalkeeper, to Carvajal. He plays it back to Varane, and Varane, the Frenchman, knocks it forward, Casimiro, and Casimiro seeps it towards the far side but it's intercepted now by Dani Alves Dani Alves running forward Juventus with plenty of players around the penalty oh that pass needed to be slightly better and now Real Madrid counter attack with Modric over the halfway line and suddenly now it's five against four Modric going forward plays it into Isco Isco almost ran over the ball and lost control of it and Juventus bring it forward again it's wide open at the moment ball played to the left side and Kadira. Kadira steps onto his right foot crosses into the penalty a chested pass down balls inside the D shot driven in uh, by Higuain but it hit a defender and rebounds now to Modric the game is so open isn't now it? isn't it astonishingly so filled. much space around Cruz plays it towards his near side intercepted by the head of Chiellini and back now to Sandra onto Chiellini when do we see him in the opposition half but Real Madrid lead by a goal to nil was it an excellent start Juventus with a better side but that real goal was so impressive by Cristiano Ronaldo his 41st of the season and this is his 46th game he never delivers here's Sandro just pulling the ball into the penalty here. play back Manzuki to the overhead what a goal what a fantastic equalising goal by Manzuki my word what a finish that is from Manzuki the ball actually falls to him two or three yards inside the 18 yard box with his back to go got no option but to try the overhead kick he tried it and it floats in over Navas the keeper's got no chance what a terrible game wasn't that brilliant that, I mean a very different goal to Ronaldo's but equally impressive that was one hell of a finish that was he didn't have no option around him he just had to do that look the ball comes to him back to goal what a strike that is he catches it so sweet well, it's such impudence to even attempt the shot at goal, the volley at goal. But he hooked it over Navas, and that's sensational. And it's 1 1 in what already is looking to be a great Champions League it's final. It's not disappointing, is it? <laughs> you didn't want to stay at home. <laughs> it's worth a drive. What a game this is. What a game. Right. <laughs> and we're just getting the, uh, Buffon's reaction in replay as well. I think he was slightly pleased as well as he looked towards the Juventus fans behind his goal in the first half. Well, two exceptional goals. I'm amazed there's so much space. I'm amazed that the, the players have got time to take the ball down. There's, you attack us, then we'll attack you. It's incredible. It's a great game to watch. Well, uh, that's only four goals that Juventus have conceded in the Champions League this season. Real Madrid have scored in every match they've played in. That's how good these sides are. Did we? Here's Sandro. Sandro forward to the left of the Real Madrid penalty. Sandro passes the ball into the box. Good. He he's quite an attacking instrument, isn't he? But that and that is their first thought. As I said, as soon as they get into that last third, the Juventus players, left side or right side, left side this time with Sandro again. Their first thought is get the ball into the box into Iguain. It's been successful for them. Casemiro plays the ball to the Real Madrid right side and Carvajal back it goes to Modric Casemiro takes it up again inside the centre circle and now Ramos the Real skipper under Marcelo on the far side of the field Ramos available again on the halfway line and he drives it towards the right side what a great ball to Carvajal Carvajal controls it now he's tackled uh, by Sandro and it's out of play I don't think uh, Carvajal enjoyed that challenge looks to the assistant but he takes the throw in anyway back to Modric Modric crosses low towards the edge of the penalty towards Benzema Benzema didn't quite get the control he wanted to have and Juventus bring it away to safety on the far side of the field great work Ooh. aggressive challenge that was uh, by Sergio Ramos 
The referee might have thought about booking him for the tackle on Dybala. There's a lovely battle going on down the uh, with uh, with Alex and Carvajal. Alex, the left-sided player, Juventus. Carvajal, right side for for Real Madrid here. Every opportunity, one's attacking, the other one's attacking. It's a great battle to watch. Nobody's smiling at opponents now. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Thanks for listening. Not only to Five Live tonight, but to World Service and to Radio Wales. I hope you're not disappointed. Juventus won. Real Madrid won half an hour that has flown by so we've got uh, a free kick to Juventus on this near side of the field Sandra to take it well the Juve fans uh, may have been disheartened uh, particularly by the quality of Ronaldo's finish that put Real Madrid in front but now their team is level again the ball fed forward towards Higuain intercepted uh, by Varane and that's worked well by Real Madrid they were slow in the opening minutes, but they've certainly woken up now on the far side of the field. It's with Benzema. Benzema comes in from the left. The ball goes to Marcelo. Marcelo skips past a defender. Marcelo turns the ball onto his right foot. not crossing it yet. Gives it back to Isco. Isco crosses in towards Benzema. Only half in a clear. Ronaldo with the overhead click, uh, kick. Trying to do uh, Mandzukic. <laughs> and uh, that one didn't go into the net. They're all the fashion now, these overhead <laughs> kicks. Well, do you remember Emery Shan's goal? Yeah. What first you down? Mandzukic's strike was the equal of Shan's. It's a terrific match. Now Sergio Ramos had just been booked. And that's ominous for him. A player who's only been sent off 22 times in his career. Is that all? Just 20. I mean, <laughs> he does get into a bit of bother. Great defender. But uh, there was a tackle on Danny Alves. And perhaps it was because it came so quickly after the challenge yeah, of the that, was, that was why it was uh, it was given. It was definitely a foul, but you're absolutely right. It was so soon after that foul. So free kick to Juventus inside the centre circle. <laughs> I think you know Allegri and uh, Zidane on the far side. Of that. I mean, we'd be surprised if they covered the rhymes. There's so much happening out there. Juventus. Uh, from the free kick played the ball deep inside the Madrid half and then there's a foul um, that was by Bonucci and it's a free kick uh, to Real Madrid isn't it a cracking game Ooh, we can take a little breather now can't we <laughs> it doesn't happen <laughs> it doesn't happen but it's great you know you give this Champions League final every year as I do the big build up and then it nine times out of ten it delivers because of the quality of the teams the quality of the players and the atmosphere is just fantastic it is it's just a magnificent game of football in a great arena Cruz to Marcelo Marcelo feeds it to Esco Esco got away from his defender crosses the ball into the defender towards Benzema Ronaldo had a free header but headed it uh, wide of goal he didn't even head it behind for a goal kick that was an opportunity for Cristiano Ronaldo to score his second of the night. An excellent ball in from the left-hand side from Isco. Here's Isco again, feeding it to Benzema. Isco certainly justifying the fact that he started the game ahead of Gareth Bale. Hopefully we'll see Bale later. Now Ronaldo is tackled. Once more he glares at the referee, thinking he was fired. He wasn't. And Sandro takes it forward. Sandro towards the halfway line. And Sandro then just checks. Feeds it into Panic. On it goes and it's going towards the right side now for Juventus taken up fed in field by Dybala Dybala plays a 1-2 it's working well oh and then he runs forward was he brought down? Well, certainly Juventus thought so Real Madrid don't think so but it is a free kick to Juventus I think he just had overran the ball you know and Modric was just there his touch was pretty poor look he couldn't do nothing about it I don't think Modric but the no. referee gave the foul he ran into Modric, really. Just a minute before that, you know, it was a superb ball in from the left-hand side from Isco. Benzema went to head the ball, and Ronaldo was free at the far post. Diving header, he didn't even hit the target. 12 minutes left in an electrifying first half here in Cardiff. Juventus won. Real Madrid won. Now, the free kick is within shooting range. It's, uh, well, about 30 yards from goal, maybe a tad more. But here's Panic who is shaping up as if he's going to shoot a goal. Now must be where. Here's Panic. Or maybe not Panic. No, it's played in. Again, they're appealing for handball. But the referee didn't see that. 
Juventus still in possession though and it's fed down their left side that's going to be hard to keep in play and uh, I'm not sure he did keep it in play uh, no he didn't uh, Bonucci who'd been up for that free kick so it's a throw into Real Madrid on this near side of the field well we're expecting Pjanic to hit that one but Dybala just stood what? up there and was a handball, handball by Ronaldo, Ronaldo. The, the middle of the wall there the ball goes towards him he puts his arms in front of his face to block it out and it does hit his arms there yeah it's not as if it, you know, his arms were by his side and you can say well he made no attempt to play the ball with his hand his hands were far too high and you can always tell by the reaction of the, uh, of the Juventus players how serious the shout was still 1-1 one, one. in a great game of football here in Cardiff and now we're going to get another free kick to Juventus uh, that was a challenge coming in uh, by Benzema ouch yep just caught Pjanic with his elbow there didn't he yep and the 11 kisses were before kickoffs. <laughs> I told you there wouldn't be any friends out there on the pitch no. when the ball no, 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 no. but you, you can tell there's, there's respect the way the teams are set up they know the dangers inherent in both teams so this is way beyond uh, shooting distance so up from the back we've got uh, Chiellini and Borzagli I'm sure Bonucci's up there as well Panic is going to take this free kick it's a long way out given the angle about 50 yards here he goes right footed swirling it into the penalty here, headed away by Sergio Ramos and then Danny Alves went to meet that ball decided uh, he didn't like the challenge that was inherent on Ronaldo and now it's had a play off a Real Madrid on the far side Marcelo it's going to be a throw into Juventus nine minutes to half time on five live the world service and radio wales excellent one defending one. from ramos there when that ball was whipped in one v one v uh, chiellini it was whipped in with pace and ramos had to get his head on it it's hardly a loose pass yeah. it's a very very high standard of football game. here's sandro sandro getting past disco now he's going to be tackled oh and the ball breaks behind i think it, oh, the referee's given a corner and i thought that hit sandro last that was wrong that wasn't a corner no, I think it hit it the back of his heel last. And uh, we're just getting a, a replay. Mm, yeah. oh, God. It wasn't even close, actually. <laughs> but, you know, unless um, unless we're looking at monitors on the sidelines and whispering his ear, no, goal kick. Am I cynical saying the referee might realise he's made a mistake and give a free kick? Uh, no, you're not. You're absolutely <laughs> right. But we'll see. It's a Juventus corner from this near side, their left hooked into the penalty and there was a header goal Woods, but immediately the referee is seen <laughs> and quote foul challenge by Chiellini what a surprise Ramos, free kick yeah, what a surprise eh <laughs> well he's trying to even things up but uh, there you go and uh, we're just getting a replay of that fantastic goal by Mandzukic wonderful overhead strike on the volley brilliant great ability technique superb he's a winner with Bayern Munich and now wants to be a winner with Juventus. One goal each. Seven and a half minutes to half time. We don't want the half time whistle the way this game is going. Ah, ball's been hurt out of play. Mandzukic is just down injured there. Yes. Yeah. So Juventus had the ball and Chiellini just kicked it out for a throw in so he can get his treatment. I must say, this is as near as I get to exercise, Alan, because we're, what we've got here is you've got an, a really good monitor in front of us but it does obscure a certain part of the picture me so I'm sort of bouncing up and down it's, I just thought it's you were really excited, good for Alan. me I thought it was excitement <laughs> yeah, that as well but it's really good for me they, they, they dare not lose Mandzukic and uh, Carvajal uh, just checking that Mandzukic is okay uh, it's a spray that will um, ease the pain and then he'll rejoin the fray so two exceptional goals. Can you, can you pick between them which was the better goal? Well, the, the, the Real Madrid goal, Ronaldo goal, was so quick in possession. The way they hit Juventus on on the uh, on the break, the way they stretched them. But as an in individual goal, the Mandzukic one, the technique because he didn't. It wasn't really on for him. There was nothing on for him. So for him to even attempt that, some 15 or 16 yards out on the angle. Just great ability. Well, do you know something? I we're just going to replay the Mandzukic goal again. And behind the goal to the left, the, 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 his net he found, that's where the Real Madrid fans were. You could pick out Real Madrid fans applauding. It must have they been good then. They, they respected the technique of Mandzukic. 
and he's fit again uh, to resume play Juventus have the ball on the far side of the field uh, it's on the halfway line that infield is a foul tackle Juventus now have a free kick Mandzukic well he's, he's hobbling just a little bit but we'll see I think Real Madrid should be very careful about Sandro down this uh, left side of the Juventus attack because uh, he was instrumental in his volley cross into the penalty chair that led to the Mandzukic goal ball might be coming his way now no, it's hooked on towards Higuain inside the D of the penalty chair knocked out of play by Sergio Ramos for a throw into Juventus which Sandro will take five minutes to go to half time on five live the world service in Radio Wales one goal each here in Cardiff good throw into the penalty chair poor marking up by Real shot driven in it hit Varane and now Isco hooks it high into the air still dropping too close to the danger air as far as Real Madrid are concerned but now Marcelo has it and uh, they need to get it clear Ramos clears it towards the right side towards Isco and um, the ball's out I think I'll not turn off Sandu it's off Isco and it's going to be a throw into Juventus Juventus were pushing in there and the ball went into the uh, into the box from a long throw in but they lost the ball but the impressive thing about them was they went after them they chased after that ball in that final third and they weren't going to let Real Madrid pass it out they're working very very hard Juventus the ball was back with Buffon uh, the replay showing after the event is equaliser what an ugly face he has when he gets excited <laughs> goodness gracious it wasn't a smile on his face it was a, a, an expression well <laughs> of attack <laughs> it, it was great what a leader he is what a game this is one goal each Alan Shearer alongside me here in Carter Carvajal takes it up then he's tackled it's Mandzukic who made the challenge Mandzukic scores the equalising goal runs away Carvajal brings him down I think the referee was waiting to see if there was any advantage that it might even be a yellow card for Carvajal it is so that's a, a second defender for Real Madrid who's received a yellow card and it was right because Manzouk is working ever so hard to go and retrieve the ball he gets the ball and he was just getting away from Carvajal there and he, Carvajal went for the ball but he did catch him from behind so yes correct decision with a yellow card and probably an unnecessary challenge because Casemiro was uh, facing up uh, to Mandzukic just a couple of yards away so that's two defenders in the back four of Real Madrid who have been booked the cross into the penalty area of Real Madrid by Sandro uh, only half cleared uh, Danny Alves on the far side of the field faced by fellow Brazilian Marcelo Marcelo uh, wins out I think it's a foul tackle by Danny Alves and it's a free kick to Real Madrid Sandro is having an excellent game down the left hand side he's given his team width there as I said at every opportunity he's not wasting any time in getting that ball into the uh, into the box well he's only won six cats for Brazil so far uh, I can see many more in the pipeline for Sandro I don't know who's playing left back for Brazil at the moment but must be a hell of a player here's Varane now after that Real Madrid free kick two and a half minutes left uh, to the interval one goal each between Juventus and Real Madrid here in the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff Ramos finds Marcelo on the far side of the field Dani Alves facing him the pass goes forward to Ronaldo Ronaldo back to Cruz into Casemiro inside the centre circle on to Isco on the far side of the field Isco's running along the halfway line at the moment leaves it for Modric on to Cruz Marcelo's to his left uh, Ronaldo ominously is in the D of the Juventus penalty here Cruz good ball to the right side and Carvajal Carvajal's pass remember set up Ronaldo for the goal that put Real Madrid in front now it's back to Modric to the far side and Isco once more just to the left of the penalty here feeds it on to Marcelo into Modric lovely tap by Modric to Cruz Cruz now to the right side again Real Madrid pressing Carvajal crosses into the penalty here deep out comes Buffon catches the ball securely as you'd expect that's easy for a goalkeeper of his standard if you're not going to put the ball in with pace if you're going to lift it in like that then it's got to be exceptional otherwise Buffon will come and collect it as he did then Buffon dressed all in yellow his officer number tonight Navas all in green Buffon hits the clearance over the halfway line into Real's possession Cruz unhappy with the challenge made on him uh, there was really no need to hold up play there uh, but he awarded a free kick I thought the advantage was already with Real Madrid now Marcelo on the far side Marcelo turns back to the halfway line plays it to Varane Varane almost put Varane into trouble Varane controlled it well found Modric now Carvajal the right fullback uh, back to Varane Varane uh, flicks it 
to his left, backwards, to Ramos, onto Cruz, and Isco, Isco now, uh, evades two Juventus challenges, feeds it back to Varane, and now Modric, Modric on the right side, Isco's nearby, Modric keeps the ball though, plays it to Ramos, Ramos on to Cruz, we're inside the final minute of a wonderful first half, we will have time added on, there have been a couple of stoppages, now Modric, to the right side, at Isco, Benzema's waiting in the penalty here, so too is Ronaldo, it's back though, and then that's a shot driven in, but it's wide of goal by Casemiro, and uh, it's behind for a goal kick. He had the option to shoot there, but he also had the hop option if he had to pick his head up and look just to his left hand side there. Marcelo was in a great position, just on the touchline, giving his team a lot of width. He chose the wrong option. We've got two minutes of added time at the end of the first half. Juventus won, Real Madrid won, Real took the lead through Ronaldo in the 20th minute, then Mandzukic equalised in the 27th. The ball's inside the centre circle. Great work by Isco to find Benzema. And Benzema eludes Dani Alves. Flicks it towards the left-hand side. Back it goes to Cruz. Cruz to Marcelo. Ronaldo's on that far flank. Marcelo cuts in field. Plays it to Cruz. No room for a shot. He finds Isco, though. Isco shoots. It uh, rebounds off to a defender. Rebounds to Modric. In out of time at the end of the first half. Now Carvajal to Isco. Isco, inside right channel, rolls the ball onto his right foot. The pass was errant, though. Didn't find Carvajal. Intercepted by Juventus. And now it's played back into the Juventus penalty area, but they're cool. They know what they're doing. And it's played away towards the near side of the field, where it's had to play for a throw into Real Madrid. Good pressure from Real Madrid in the last few seconds of this half here, but every single Juventus player in their own half, doing their own shift, doing their work for the team. After the throw-in, Marcelo on the far side, the Real Madrid left. And it goes to Ronaldo. Back to Cruz. And now Modric with a little bit of room. Inside right channel. Modric sprints forward. He's still running forward. I think the defender's going to make a challenge. He does. And the ball's out of play for throw into Real Madrid. 30 seconds left of added time. The throw in very close to the corner fly. Being left by Modric for Carvajal to take. Isco's nearby. Carvajal. Perhaps thinking... Can I reach Benzema? It's thrown towards Benzema. Clever defending by Panucci. Just uh, sort of barge Benzema away from that throw-in. And it's cleared by Juventus towards the halfway line. Varane to Sergio Ramos. And uh, to Marcelo on the far side. The left full-back. Marcelo flicks it off. His fellow countryman, Danny Alves. It's out for a throw-in. And we've had our two minutes of added time. And the referee has blown for half-time. And what a first half, Alan Shearer. Incredible entertainment from start to finish. Juventus had the better of the first opening 10 or 15 minutes, then Real Madrid came back into the game with a hell of a finish from that man, Ronaldo. But the way Juventus responded and came back into the game, didn't panic, didn't push that much forward, and it was just a sublime finish from Mandzukic. Didn't have no other option, overhead kick, top of the net, goalkeeper no chance, what a game. And it's a good spell from Juventus, then Real, then Juventus, then Real, then Juventus again. Just brilliant entertainment. It just flown by that, uh, that, what was it, 47 minutes we played? It's incredible. Great to be here. Uh, it's a pleasure to be in Cardiff tonight. And at half time, it's Juventus won, Real Madrid won. Yeah, you know, I almost fell asleep in the first half. You know, <laughs> I just, you know, I had this pin beside me to prod myself to keep me awake at times. No, it was, it's great. It really is great. I just hope, you know, we've had three yellow cards, Dybala for Juventus, Carvajal and Ramos for Real Madrid. I hope we don't have a red card tonight. An exceptional game of football. No changes at halftime. Um, Juventus line up, goalkeeper Buffon. Uh, back three, Barzagli, Bonucci, Chiellini. Then Dani Alves, Kadira, Panic and Sandro. Then Dybala behind Mandzukic and Higuain. Real Madrid's keeper is Navas. They're back for Carvajal, uh, Ramos, Varane and Marcelo. Then Cruz, Casimiro and Modric. And finally Isco, Benzema and Ronaldo. Uh, Ronaldo put Real in front. Mandzukic equalised for Juventus. Two exceptional goals in an exceptional first half. Real Madrid all in purple. Juventus in their black and white striped shirts, white shorts and white socks. Juventus defending the end to our left. The penalty area occupied 
by this man Buffon who might be put under pressure in the second half early on Ronaldo feeds the ball back but it's headed away carefully away by Chiellini and cleared by Juventus away from the danger area can we have more of the same please yeah please please none of that scrappy football of the first half so you just eradicate all the sloppy passes how many sloppy passes were there not that many <laughs> not that many a handful at most Juventus had the ball with the excellent Sandro on the far side of the field his volley that uh, that was so carefully then teed up by Higuain for Mandzukic not to be uh, forgotten about in that exceptional Mandzukic equalising goal he's going to take a throw in now on the far side of the field we're getting a close up of Gareth Bale we must be wondering in the because this goes playing well Alan you know will Bale get to come on here in Cardiff in his home city that must be his hope nothing against this goal of course Real Madrid in possession inside their own half and there was a, a trip tackle uh, by Kadira, the former Real Madrid player and it's a free kick uh, to the Spanish side it's not a bad option to look at the bench is it having Gareth Bale if you're chasing the game or you want to do something special indeed free kick is taken short and now Baran onto the far side takes the return pass finds his captain to his left Sergio Ramos and on now to Tony Cruz the German Cruz to Marcelo and Marcelo chips it for Risco running into the penalty here angles very acute what a great tackle coming in that's twice that ball in the half now one the first time was in for Ronaldo behind Barzagli and, and this time another similar ball in behind and Barzagli just got back showed great pace to get back in there didn't chicken out of the challenge you know because if he got it wrong it was going to be a penalty kick perfectly timed it is a corner though to Real Madrid Cruz to take it from this near side playing it right put it in from the left oh almost a free header goodness comes back off of another Juventus player now the referee seen something amiss and has given a free kick to Juventus it was a magnificent ball in from Brilliant. Tony Cruz wasn't it curled in with a little bit of pace there for one split second then I thought when it was coming together there, I thought it was going to land in the back of the net the ball Varane was up there um, trying to nudge it goalwards but uh, certainly outside the flight of the ball there must have been a, a push not really all that easy to see it anyway what's wrong now Juventus player has gone down and oh, he's indicating I think is that Bonucci yes it's Bonucci that he must have got a smack in the face and he's quote got problems with his vision yeah that's what he was saying to it wasn't it must have been from that um, set piece there coming together and clash of heads well uh, so now he's receiving attention Bonucci but you know if he's got double vision then he's got a real problem here well that was the first thing he indicated wasn't he straight away when he sat down bit of double vision and because it's a head injury it's not you know, a question of rushing him off the pitch no chance of that happening the referee just inquiring if he'll be alright to carry on four minutes gone in the second half he uh, certainly got a smack in the nose because there's some blood coming out from his nose another replay of that corner uh, we're seeing I think it was a ball hitting him in the face rather than someone's right. elbow so it shouldn't be too bad no, Bonucci's coming to the sideline for the moment but uh, a player like him will get back on the pitch the minute the second he can just touching his forehead there but I'm sure uh, the event of staff feel he'll be capable of resuming the game has resumed and the ball's inside the Real Madrid half just watching Bonucci arms are off now he wants to get the attention of the referee to get back on the pitch he's just being signalled back on now Juventus had the ball on the far side of the field just keeping possession while they were down to 10 men playing it back to their captain and goalkeeper Buffon and Buffon without hesitant, hesitation rather uh, plays it to the near side I know it's driven long for Juventus uh, Higuain is after it Higuain controls it Higuain oh, and then gives it away to Cruz Cruz now to Marcelo Marcelo on to Isco Isco halfway inside the Juventus half back to Marcel oh what impudence plays the ball through the legs of a Juventus player to find a colleague quite deliberately and then Ronaldo loses possession uh, Marcelo wins it again but his header went to a Juventus player 
and it's hooked away. Marcelo's going to get involved again. Well, a clever little back heel. Then he deliberately ran into the Juventus player, trying to coach a, uh, coax a, a free kick from the German referee. Didn't get so. And now it's Juventus who run forward. Another Juventus player was down injured. And they've got to be careful here, Juventus. Are they going to just smack the ball out of play? Yep. Yep. There it goes. No, I, don't, I didn't see if it was a foul challenge there. I've got to admit. Just a little bit untidy. Maybe Isco was the uh, man at fault. This time it's Danny Alves who was challenged. We're getting a replay of the incident now. Alves running for... Ah, no. Ouch. Marcelo. Uh, the Brazilian stood on the foot of the Brazilian Danny Alves quite deliberately. He's very fortunate there, you know, because if the referee sees that, then it's a yellow card. Yeah, now they embrace, but no, Marcelo's an naughty boy. And it's a, a throw-in to Real Madrid, indicated by the referee. Well, I, I don't know if Danny Alves knew what Marcelo did to him, but he'll see it later. <laughs> you won't thank him later, that's for sure. No, he certainly won't. So it's just a little bit, not sc scruffy's the wrong word, but stop-start at the start of this second half. Already we've played seven minutes. It remains here on Five Live, the World Service and Radio Wells. One goal each. Ah. And now, now the referee is going to book Cruz. That was for a late challenge on Kadira. It's getting a bit naughty out there. Yes, yeah, so that's three yellow cards for Real Madrid. And again, that was a step by Cruz. I think that was... Look! His toes, isn't it? Yeah. It's really bad. He just has a little look as well, doesn't he? Just at the last second, see where he was. So, the fourth yellow card of the evening. Three of them to Real Madrid. The ball is back with the Juventus goalkeeper Buffon. Buffon hits it over the halfway line, where it's headed on by Mandzukic towards the far side of the field. Sandro gets the better of his opponent. Sandro approaching the left edge of the penalty here. Feeds it back, but then it's intercepted by Modric, and Modric runs away. And Modric is looking for the challenge. The challenge was made, and now it's out of play. But what's the referee given? Well, all the Real Madrid players are going after the referee again, looking for yellow cards. Ah, it doesn't help the final act. No. I mean, Mod Mod Modric knew exactly what he was doing there. He was saying, go on, challenge me, I'm going to go down, and then I'll get a free kick. He was waiting for the contact. Yes. That's the polite way of putting it. OK. <laughs> Cheating's <laughs> another way. <laughs> anyway, here's Isco, after the Real Madrid free kick. Isco, uh, suddenly surrounded by Juventus players, but keeps it in uh, Real's possession. Casemiro feeds it towards the right side. And now, it's cut in now uh, by Carvajal. Carvajal to Marcelo one full back to the other Marcelo to the left of the Juventus penalty here back it goes to Benzema taken up again by Modric Modric shot too close to Buffon to trouble a goalkeeper of his class and experience good effort with his left foot Modric had no option put to hit it what 22 23 yards out but that wasn't going to trouble a Buffon straight at him no, not only does he get his hands behind he gets his whole body behind it good strike though yes it was good effort in the 10th minute of the second half, Juventus won, Real Madrid won, and the final of the Champions League here in Cardiff. And uh, it's been a fantastic atmosphere, and so far a fantastic game. Here's Isco. Isco beats two players, goes down. Again, he's looking for a free kick. Doesn't get it. And it's taken forward by Chiellini. Chiellini stabs the ball to his left side and immediately thinks, I'm a central defender, I'm not going much further forward than this. So he stops his run forward. But he's still with Dani Alves, still with Juventus and now Higuain is tackled loses the ball and Cruz comes forward evades that challenge Cruz plays it to the left side to Ronaldo inside left channel on to Isco Isco approaching the edge of the penalty area Ronaldo's in the box waiting for the cross it's played back but uh, it wasn't going in Ronaldo's direction only half played Marcelo picks it up Marcelo shoots high and wide goal kick Higuain's got to do better there for Juventus the ball's played up to him he's the target man he's got to hold it he was a little bit weak then the ball bounced off him which gave the opportunity to, uh, to Ramos to bring the ball forward pass it forward and Isco down the left hand side pulls a little ball back and that was dangerous from Real Madrid but Higuain's got to do better he's got to keep hold of the ball actually was a foul challenge on Isco but it's, it's getting a bit difficult for the referee because the, the players on both sides are being a, more than a little naughty anyway Juventus have the ball 
uh, with Higuain on the near side of the field. Higuain, tackle, keeps possession. Higuain close to the corner flag, tries to sweep the cross end. I'm sure it's crossed the goal line. It has, and it's a goal kick. Good defending from Ron there. He knows that um, Higuain's not really going anywhere. He's got him where he wants him on the byline, and he's got no option there but to put it in behind for a goal kick. Uh, he's only warming up, but Gareth Bale is limbering on the far side of the field. Um, I don't know whether that's um, encouragement from Zidane or whether it's uh, Bale trying to say to Zidane, I'm here and available if you need me. Juventus have possession, but lose it rather easily. And it's clear toward the near side, towards Ronaldo, headed away by Barzagli. Rightly identified by Alan Shearer uh, before the game started, is the man most likely to pick up Ronaldo. Uh, oh, there's a, a kick aimed out at Benzema by Dani Alves. Uh, don't make the referee's job any more difficult, guys. Now, Modric to the far side of the field. Good pass. Carvajal collects. Carvajal instrumental in Ronaldo's goal for Real Madrid. Now it comes down the left side. And it's with Isco. Isco brings the ball under control. Feeds it into Modric. Modric is about 35 yards from goal, though. Modric running forward. And then he chips it towards the left side. But he can't find Marcelo. That should be cleared comfortably by Juventus. By Barzagli. Not a great clearance. Uh, Modric collects it. Marcelo wants more. Marcelo shapes to go on the inside. Then he's on the outside. Back on the inside and plays it back to Modric. Modric uh, to Casemiro. Uh, Casemiro feeds it towards the far side of the field. And now it's Varane up on the attack. Varane into the penalty. Almost squeezed the ball back. The cross back towards Benzema. But it's intercepted by Juventus and should be cleared by Juventus. And then it's given away. That was careless. Sloppy. We were spoiled the in the first half with so many good passes and good passage of play. It's been a bit sloppy, hasn't it? Here's Esco. Esco leaves it for Marcelo. Marcelo shoots it in towards the far post. Ronaldo was there. But the defender did brilliantly. I think just to put him off. I think it was Sandro, wasn't yes. it? That whips the ball in there, Marcelo. And Ronaldo was just lurking at the far post there. He didn't really have to make contact with the ball, Sandro. He just had to put his body to be there. in front of Ronaldo just to stop him there. It's clever defending. Good defending. Well done, uh, Sandro. He had a brilliant first half. It's Juventus 1, Real Madrid 1. Real Madrid getting on top here. Esco. Esco shoots wide. He was leaning back and uh, didn't make the proper contact at all. And Ronaldo's given a filthy look there, you know, because he, Ronaldo was just out to his left-hand side there. He had the option to play Ronaldo in, but he chose other, chose to go with a shot. It, high and wide. It is a habit that Cristiano Ronaldo has, you know? I mean, I know he's a brilliant player, but sometimes he sort of snarls at a colleague. Can't be good, that, for yeah, morale. It's, it's his hunger and his desire to have the ball, that's the important thing, I think, that he wants the ball all the time. And he gets angry when people don't give him it. Ball's out of play on the far side of the field, and it will be a throw-in to Real Madrid. Allegri, very animated in the technical area, feeling his side have just lost their impetus. But mind you, they started the game so well when Real Madrid didn't look like a threat. Free kick uh, to Real Madrid just over the halfway line for a challenge on his scope. Marcelo's going to take it. It's just two yards inside the Juventus half. He taps it back to Cruz. And Cruz to Varane. Modric available. And it goes to the creation. The ex-Spurs player. Modric leaves it. And uh, it's tapped back now. Still in Real's possession. Cruz on it goes to Ronaldo Ronaldo plays it back to the halfway line quickly it goes forward to Marcelo Marcelo moves in field away from Dani Alves and now it's back to Modric Modric 25 yards from goal I think half thought about a shot at goal then then the angle got too acute so it's a cross instead from the right side uh, by Carvajal the clearance by Juventus straight into Real Madrid's possession again Sergio Ramos to the left side in Isco the pass in field was intercepted by Juventus Juventus can counter attack here ah oh, that was a, a loose ball in field and Modric takes it up for Real Madrid once more definitely the better team after the R mark here in the second half the ball played to Benzema Benzema into the penalty here Benzema back Cruz with a half hearted shot cleared by Juventus the shot dripping in goodness gracious it's in the net Casimiro has put Real Madrid in front 
didn't think that would beat Buffon, but it beat him to his right. It nestles in the net, and it's back to Real Madrid being in front. Casemiro has scored. Juventus won. Real Madrid two. It's another magnificent strike, but I think you'll find it hits one of the defenders and takes a wicked deflection in front of Buffon. He takes the opportunity. What is he? 25 yards out. Not a lot else on. Head down. Hits it as hard as he can, and it flies into the corner with a wicked deflection. I think. Well, we've just seen the replay now, and we'll know soon enough. The initial shot was by Cruz, and that Casemiro. Well, it did take an deflection. I think off Isco, his own player. We'll see. No, first it was the Juventus boot, and that took it wide of Buffon. Off Kadira. Off Kadira, yeah. It just sends Buffon the other way. By the time it takes the deflection, he's got to get back to his right hand side. He sees it late. No chance, right in the corner. Little bit of luck there, decent strike, but a wicked deflection. Right, Real held on to their lead in the first half for just seven minutes. They've been the better team in the second half. They started the second half like Juventus did in the first half. They've had a lot of possession. They're the team that's pushing forward, looking to get balls into the box. Much better from Real Madrid this half. Let's see if Juventus can respond a second time. Well, the form unfortunate. The deflection was critical. Juventus have it now on the far side of the field with Sandro. It's quickly fed in field to uh, Panic. Panic plays the ball into the Real Madrid penalty. It's cleared by Real, but the flag was already up for offside. Free kick to Real Madrid. There's a lovely ball in from Pjanic on the right hand side, and Dani Elves has just made that diagonal run into the 18 yard box. Just mistimed his run and correctly given offside. I didn't think there was anything Kadira could do about it. It hit the back of his heel. Just, no, it's one, just of one of those things. things yeah. One of those things, the Madrid fans celebrate anticipating a 12th a triumph in the European Cup Champions League era and poised to become the only team in the Champions League era to have retained the trophy. The last team uh, to win two successive European Cups, AC Milan in 1989 and 1990. That was some side. This is some side, Real Madrid. But Juventus are good. And Juventus came back from being a goal down in the first half. They haven't played as well in the second period. No question about that. Throw into Real Madrid. Marcelo to take it. Marcelo throws it to Isco. Back to Modric. And Modric looking to the far side towards Carvajal. Decides that Carvajal was being too closely marked. So plays it to the left instead. Sergio Ramos to Cruz. Cruz in to the score of the second goal. Casimiro. Casimiro's loose ball forward. Headed clear by Juventus but uh, Juventus give away possession again and it's Modric to the right of the penalty pulls the ball back Ronaldo makes it 3-1 what a finish what a run incredible ball in from Modric from the right hand side and Ronaldo darts into the near post and it's a cute clever finish Buffon no chance he floats into the area no one sees him no one picks him up it's brilliant finish the second goal of the night for Cristiano Ronaldo but it came from an error in the Juventus defence. Giving the ball away when they weren't under particular uh, problems is a great ball in from Modric. Great ball. And it, he just knew, I think he sensed that Ronaldo was making the run to the near post. Very sloppy from Juventus giving, uh, giving the ball away in the first place. But what a ball, what a run in behind from Modric. He whips it in and Ronaldo floats into the near post. No one's near him, no one picks him up. You can't give him that amount of space. Three or four yards out. The pass to Modric was actually a little bit heavy. He times, he it, to, give up he on times it. it to perfection, the run. The ball in is great, yes, but the run is exceptional. What a finish. We've got 25 minutes left for play. Juventus 1, Real Madrid 3. Is that the critical winning goal scored by Ronaldo? Remember, he scored the winning penalty last year against Atletico Madrid. Pjanic and Kadira have to get nearer to Modric and to, to Cruz. They're controlling this game at the minute in that midfield. Dominating possession. They've got to get closer to them. Sandro crossing the ball into the Real Madrid penalty. You sense that you've better have to get a goal back very quickly here. It's uh, cleared well by Real Madrid. And then there's a foul on Cruz. Definitely, it's a free kick. And now they just need to get a total grip defensively as well Real Madrid there hasn't been many times where that back four or back three have been criticised 
this season because they've been magnificent but on that occasion they were caught standing still they, were, they just let Ronaldo float into the area and didn't pick him up at all he was too clever for them too quick for them and too sharp and it was one hell of a finish again Kalic has just been booked and there's a change there for Juventus uh, Barzagli is off and Cuadrado is on Dani Alves will just come into the right pack position and Cuadrado as he has just come onto that right hand side of, of midfield where Dani Alves was playing for most of the game well they have to do something different and Allegri has responded immediately Cuadrado on and Juventus have gone to a back four now Real Madrid in possession on the far side of the field a push and that's uh, going to be a kicking off for Tanic he, remember he's just been booked Free kick to Real Madrid. They've got to get to grips with the midfield because still Modric in there is seeing far, far too much of the ball. Cruz is, Casemiro is, they're dominating the midfield in there. Well, there's no denying the contribution of Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, two goals tonight, both of them very well taken. But Modric has had a terrific match. Modric has been superb, he's controlled it in there, he's passing. And he, he, he's controlled the pace of the game in there. A good tackle on Higuain and then Juventus jump in again win the ball back on the far side of the field it's hit long uh, looking to the right side I think the whistle's already been blown no. the flag's up for offside. offside halfway through the second half Real Madrid lead Juventus by three goals to one Juve fans looking very concerned no, you're listening to Five Live the World Service and Radio Wales on the BBC thank you for listening tonight I will be very surprised if you've been disappointed. It's been a great game of football. Ronaldo wins the ball back inside his own half. It's played forward to Casemiro, whose goal came between the two efforts by Ronaldo. Now on the far side of the field, it's Carvajal. Into Ronaldo once more. He leaves it for Isco. Isco turns back. The purple shirts certainly dominant. Sergio Ramos. The crew is on this left-hand side. And it goes to Isco again. The return pass to Cruz wasn't great, but the event is clearance runs straight to Varane. And Varane knows he's got Sergio Ramos to his left. And he plays it to the captain. And now to Cruz. Cruz into Casemiro. C complete control now, Real Madrid. Ball Boom. driven towards the right side. Carvajal brings it under control. Ronaldo goes across there to support him. Ronaldo picks it up, approaching the penalty area. Goes outside to the penalty area, to the right side. And tries to cross that. I think he pulled the ball behind. It's going to be a goal kick. They're, they're playing with so much confidence now. On the, every single Real Madrid player is wanting the ball, demanding the ball, and, and showing so much skill when they get it. Is that 42 for the season now for Ronaldo? Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> 42 and 46 games. Oh, it's not bad, and it's it? 106 Champions League goals that's 12 ahead of Messi <laughs> and that's his worst season goals wise for how yeah. long? 7 uh, seasons is it? it something like well, 8 I'd get, seasons? <laughs> I'd get rid of him I mean Huddersfield and I, I really love Huddersfield by the way but I think Huddersfield should win from now I think there's a good <laughs> chance I'll get him and don't Huddersfield fans misunderstand fantastic that you won promotion absolutely fantastic you've got a great manager looking forward to being at your grind next season Ball's out of play on this near side of the field. It's going to be a throw-in to Juventus after Cudrado was tackled. Here's Cudrado again after the throw-in into Panic. Panic feeds it to the right. Oh, Panic immediately held his left leg. Could be an injury problem for the Bosnian. Well, he's definitely struggling, but it's fed towards the far side of the field. Juventus with plenty of players forward. They've got it on the edge of the penalty. It's with Sandro. Sandro, though, with his back to goal. And Sandro then dives in on Varane fouls the player and it's a free kick to Real Madrid they just need a spark from somewhere Juventus they need one of their players they need Higuain or Dybala or Cuadrado who's just come on there just to give them a little bit of energy to give them a little bit of encouragement to get back into this game right it's going to be another Juventus change um, by the way Sandro was booked there for that challenge uh, so we've got Marquisio coming on into that midfield replacing Panic and I think that's sensible by Allegri knowing how close Panic is to being sent off and also it'll give them a little bit extra legs in that midfield because at the minute they've been dominated they can't get hold of the ball in there Marquisio's got to go in there and he's got to try and get hold of the ball and stop that dominance 
from Real Madrid. Two changes made by Allegri in uh, quick succession. Only 20 minutes left for play here in Cardiff. Real Madrid leading by three goals to one. Poised for the 12th European Cup Champions League triumph. And uh, there's an offside flag raised against Disco. Free kick to Juventus. Have to take it quickly. Uh, so we've got three pros booked for Real Madrid, three pros booked now for Juventus. Juventus on the attack. Higuain goes down elaborately and the referee waves him up. Uh, not fooled by that uh, challenge. Similar thing again though, Al, isn't it? Ball up to him. Ramos is right behind his back there and he loses the ball. It's too easy. Now, Ronaldo's just been fouled and Cuadrado, who's just come on, is booked. So, Juventus take the lead in bookings. 4-3. <laughs> It's not looking good for the Italian champions. They came into this game hoping to win their first ever treble. Now, they're a treble down to one. And time is running out. 18 minutes to go here in Cardiff. Here's Isco. Isco into uh, Benzema. Benzema plays it to the right side. And uh, Carvajal has it. Carvajal crosses into the penalty here. Great clearance on the volley by... Uh, Chiellini picked up by Modric again superb all night back to Cruz back to the halfway line and Varane uh, on by Casemiro oh this is good football by Real Madrid here's Cruz inside the D Cruz shaped a shoot with his left foot taps it on to Marcelo angles acute drives it across and Ronaldo hits it first time hits it high over the crossbar excellent play from Real Madrid Benzema has the opportunity to have a shot no, he feigns to go inside but just plays the ball down the left hand side into Marcelo who whips it across and it was a decent chance wasn't it for his goal in the end Did I fail to mention by the way that Ronaldo is the first player to score in three separate Champions League finals You did actually? Yeah well I'm useless <laughs> I'm useless, thank heavens I've got some of the experience and calibre of Alan Shearer <laughs> alongside me tonight here in Cardiff 17 minutes to go Zidane's still not smiling, but inwardly, he'll know one Spanish hand is on the trophy. Throw in for Real Madrid on the far side of the field. Throw into the centre circle. That was a bit loose. Cruz, though, was tackled high, and it's a free kick to Real Madrid. If Juventus had brought that ball under proper control, then they were in a really good attacking position. At least they're a little bit closer to Cruz and the midfield of Real Madrid there, though. Cruz plays it, and it goes on to the far side now it's into Cruz again seeing a lot of the ball the German uh, finds his fullback Marcelo and then he directs Marcelo to play it back to Sergio Ramos onto Casemiro loose by Casemiro but the Juventus well they intercept but they can't keep possession and they're suddenly looking a bit tired Juventus and giving the ball away when it, they're working so hard to try and get the ball back but when they get it they look tired they look shattered very heavy legged at the minute Here's Modric to Varane. And Varane on his left foot. Well, he's gliding it towards the left flank. But it's headed away by Juventus. Cuadrado keeps it in play on this near side of the field. The substitute. Cuadrado running with purpose towards the penalty area. But he's wildly overhit that cross. And it goes out of play for throwing on the far side of the field. Well, it's a nothing ball, isn't it? He's in a decent position there down the right-hand side. He comes inside and he picks his head up and he tries to pick Higuain out but it's a terrible ball and goes out for a throw in it's a mark of the stature, uh, the stature of Real Madrid uh, Juventus only conceded three goals on the way to the final and they've conceded three goals to Real tonight and it could be more you know here's Isco De Cruz Benzema to his left Benzema's rolled to be free into the penalty Benzema tries to pass the ball into the net it's half cleared and then the shot driven by Marcelo over the crossbar behind for the goal kick well Juventus are now starting to push forward and one or two gaps are starting to open up they have to take one or two chances which will suit Ronaldo and Benzema as it is at the minute and Isco down to the ground a Juventus in possession just short of the halfway line they've got seven players now inside the Madrid half asking a lot of the defence of Real counter attack if they get possession and they get possession and Cruz inside the centre circle with room uh, the pass to Ronaldo Ronaldo knew he was offside so he made no serious attempt to play the ball and it's cleared by Buffon but again wasn't it it was Real Madrid hitting them on the break and there's a lot of space out there now 
Marcelo. Uh, on to Isco. Isco's had a very good game as well. But I'm sure, you know, if it's 3-1 into the final 10 minutes, there must be a temptation of Zidane to bring on Gareth Bale. Absolutely. Isco runs forward. They tried to pull him down. And well done, the referee. He was fouled earlier in the move. He let the play continue uh, to see if there was any advantage uh, for Isco. There wasn't. And the referee pulls them back and gives the free kick to Real Madrid. It was so clever from Isco, wasn't it? The way he controlled the ball and just ran away from Al uh, Alves there. But the referee got it right. He was definitely being pulled by Alves. 14 minutes to go. 3-1 to Real Madrid against Juventus. And you're listening to Five Live, the World Service and Radio Wales. And what was I saying? <laughs> Gareth Bale prepares to come on for Real Madrid. Cruz to take this free kick for the Spanish champions. It's uh, a long way out. He's not going to shoot from this range. And in fact, the substitution's going to be made. And it's Benzema who will be replaced, not Isco. And he wasn't taking Ronaldo off, was he, when he's on a hat-trick? <laughs> Not a cat in hell's chance. <laughs> that would be a transfer request in the morning. <laughs> so Benzema uh, comes off. I think he's underrated, you know. I just think he's, he's, you know, he's, play, he's surrounded by starlets. He played the role perfectly. He did a lot of work off the ball, which enabled Ronaldo to use that space so effectively. Now, immediately Bale gives his manager's instructions to changes of position one of them will be to Isco Bale's in the penalty area Cruz to take the free kick finally flicking it into the box doesn't find a, a, a Real Madrid head Cuadrado with the clearance for Juventus but it just runs across the halfway line back into Real's possession and the ball goes back to Navas we mustn't forget the significance of the save Navas made early on in the game from uh, Panic very strong right hand keeping the ball out uh, another Real Madrid player has been knocked to the ground and uh, the referee having a word he's not going to take too much more that was Lamina when did he slip just on come the on, pitch? just come on about 30 seconds ago did you notice who went off sorry don't know but Lamina is on there's so much happening it is it's, it's such a good game of football it's hardly stopped for a breath being dominated by Real Madrid at this moment in time and for most of the second half the captain Ramos takes a free kick kept in play by the head of Gareth Bale but his header doesn't find a colleague and now it's with Juventus but surely they're running out of ideas I think they're running out of strength and pace now they Those do look goals. a little tired don't they? they they look really tired and frankly if it had been 3-1 to Juventus I'm sure the same we'd have yeah. seen the same impact on Real Madrid give great, credit, that kind for, of game. Give great credit to Madrid for that the way they've dominated the possession the way they've kept on going they've been relentless this second half and they want to throw in on the far side of the field Modric just knew precisely what he was doing that flicked it into the body of Juventus player out it goes Allegri screams at his players but can they get two goals back in the remaining 11 minutes to take us into extra time at the moment you can't see it happening out there in the pitch the Real throw goes into the Juventus half not for long Chiellini plays it to Bonucci Bonucci just chips it forward hoping to find Cuadrado chested away by Ramos um, it was Dybala who went off thanks to the studio for that I'll take his name out of my list Dybala well, he had been yellow carded as well. He'd actually risked a second yellow card uh, earlier in the game. So, again, perhaps that's a uh, diplomatic substitution as much as anything else made by Allegri. Now the ball played towards Ronaldo down the right side. Ronaldo heads it on. He's into the penalty. Crosses it towards Bale. And it's intercepted by Bonucci. Oh, Still not incredible. out of play. Almost a Welsh, Welsh goal. That was incredible, that was. Carvajal had the ball in the right-back position and Ronaldo went short as if to go and get the ball short. Just spun his man and sprinted into the into the space. Carvajal knocked it over the top and Ronaldo did him for pace and he tried to push it in the middle for a tap-in for Bale, but he just got his foot there, defender, kicked it away. Yeah, if not for Bonucci, Bale would have scored. Which would have been the perfect end to the evening for Real Madrid. 
I think they're destined to win the Champions League tonight, though. Though they're protesting to the assistant on the near side of the field for the award of a free kick to Juventus. It's a good opportunity, this, for Juventus. Put a bit of pressure back onto Real Madrid. A free kick in a dangerous position on the right-hand side. Alves is set to take it. Yeah, Danny Alves to take it, and there are already five, six Juventus players, soon to be seven Juventus players inside the Madrid penalty area. Considerable presence. Can the delivery from Danny Alves be good enough? Here it comes. It's played off with the near post and headed on. And that would have been Navas if it had been on target. Lamina. No, it was Sandro, Sandro, actually. Sandro made the run towards the near post. A glancing header. If he'd got it on target, it was 3-2. Well, it was a good ball in from uh, Danny Alves with a bit of pace on it. And Sandro just came from the far post, crossed everyone towards the near post, and just a glancing header. From this angle we thought it was in, it was just floating away from that far post there. It's a decent opportunity, though. Eight minutes to go. Uh, Real Madrid change. And Isco is going off. Supreme applause from the Real fan. I mean, if he was going off and they were losing, maybe he wouldn't get so richly applauded, but I think he's had a really good he's game. He's been excellent. He's been excellent. He's, he's been involved in everything. He's demanded the ball. He's wanted the ball. And he's been a, he's been a nuisance to that at, uh, Juventus backline. Asensio comes on. And we've got eight minutes to go. Plus some added time. May not make that much difference to the outcome though Juventus 1 Real Madrid 3 Navas with the goal kick driven to the left side towards Bale Bale jumps well heads it inland so to speak but it's with Bonucci and Bonucci plays it forward to Marchesia Marchesia trying to rush away from Cruz and finds Chiellini Chiellini hits it over the halfway line knocked back into the Italian half by Varane and then it's flicked back uh, to Bonucci time running out on it goes to the right side and Dani Alves Dani Alves and it's fed forward uh, to Cuadrado Cuadrado tackled strongly balls out of play and then Cruz reacts oh, as up. if Cuadrado has kicked him Ramos right in front oh sorry Sergio Ramos has done that and it's a yellow card for Cuadrado he's and he's off a red card and that was all about, about the reaction by Sergio Ramos oh, I, I, honestly I uh... He, he might have clipped him but there was no need for Ramos to go down right in front of the linesman no not at all look there's nothing a matter with him why has he gone down for well it's, it's not finished this because um, a few players are going oh well done the Juventus player just telling Cuadrado get off you have to accept it but I'd love to see that challenge again uh, Cuadrado is off Juventus are down to 10 men the 3-1 down here's the replay well, what did Cuadrado do wrong? Now, it may be when he got up. Well, he, he gave Ramos a, a push in the back. It was a, it it was was a brilliant. It was a brilliant tackle first and foremost from uh, from Ramos. It was aggressive, yes, but it was a good ball. Cuadrado was silly, but there was no need for Ramos to go down there. I said to I said about ten minutes ago, his manager wanted him to come on and create something, do something for the team, not something stupid like that. Well. Uh, that's a great shame but the yellow cards were mounting and you could see a red card emerging Real Madrid are going to win this final in Cardiff 3-1 up and now a man up and we've only got 6 minutes plus out of time remaining so there'll be no extra time tonight there'll be no penalties in Cardiff here's Benucci for Juventus I'm just sorry that yeah. you know, someone was sent off it, it just it's a stain on the final it was so unnecessary and Ramos a player who knows all about red cards well he induced a red card there for Cuadrado inexcusably and he had to time the tackle perfectly anyway Ramos and he did that it was a hard tackle but it was a fair one Sandro plays the ball in field Juventus to their credit have got everybody inside the Real have to cross the ball into the penalty the header down then it's hooked away by Varane still inside the penalty area Collected on the far side of the field. Should be cleared and is cleared to the halfway line. That was a big opportunity there for Mandzukic. A lovely ball in, floated in there and he was free, Mandzukic. Six or seven yards out. It looked as if he didn't want a head of that. Here's Cruz who's given the ball away very carelessly. Uh, Real Madrid becoming just a little bit complacent. Time running out with the man advantage. 
but they must keep their minds firmly on the time that's left to make sure they win their 12th European Champions League or European Cup. Juventus played the ball into the Madrid penalty area. Uh, Higuain tries to turn it goalwards, but it's uh, behind for a goal kick. There's definitely a, a great chance there for Vanzukic. It's a free header. It looks as if he pulled his head away. He didn't really want to head it, Mandzukic. It's a good ball in, and he's free. It's only seven yards out. Now Navas, the Real goalkeeper. We're just seeing this incident again. All right, there may have been the slightest tap on Ramos's ankle, but there's no excuse there's no for reacting like that. Like that. Not at all. You know... It, and it's not just foreign players. <laughs> I can name English players who do the same thing. Just leave the referee to do his job correctly don't react like that when there's no need for it three and a half minutes of the 90 minutes remaining 3-1 Real Madrid lead Juventus Juventus still push the ball forward that's well chested back by uh, Carvajal to his goalkeeper Navas Navas quickly throws it out to Ramos and Ramos forward to Cruz Ramos again and now Ramos glides it towards the right side headed on but Ronaldo's not chasing after that there's going to be another Real Madrid alteration so we will have had six substitutions so that's a minimum of three minutes of added time and the goals and the goals which will actually be painful for Juventus so they're on the attack now out comes Navas diving uh, gets his hands to the ball the Juventus player tumble over uh, Navas is complaining to Dani Alves but you know there wasn't anything I don't think Dani Alves threw himself down trying to win a penalty kick no Navas was excellent there he was sharp he was alert because he not had a lot to do this second half little through ball but there was no way it was a penalty it was a clean challenge by the goalkeeper Madrid have just got to see this game out now they've got to keep hold of the ball Ronaldo to Varane and now Ramos Cruz available Cruz who's held that defensive uh, midfield position very well and has been really influential in the second half in particular it's back to Navas to Ramos on to Cruz and Cruz just happy to win the throw in off Dani Alves feet and here comes the final change it'll be Tony Cruz who's coming off actually and Morata coming on Tony Cruz has been excellent as well in that midfield alongside Modric in there particularly second half they haven't given that midfield of Juventus a kick they've dominated in there the one and two touch passing from both himself and Modric has been superb second half very very good performance yeah Cruz being embraced by every colleague he meets on the way towards the far touch line it had to be the far touch line of course and Cruz you know punching the air with both his fists towards the Madrid fans knowing he will get his hands as well on the Champions League trophy shortly so Morata is on Juventus 1 Real Madrid 3 no more substitutions Juve fans respond to the Real Madrid chance by holding up their scarves at the moment many, many of them feeling the pain of inevitable defeat the throw goes to Modric Modric tries to cross the ball it's just with Morata on the edge of the D back to Modric Modric tackle foul tackle that's a free kick and this is within shooting range look who's running over to the ball Ronaldo it's about what is it 30 yards out yeah, well, he's on a hat-trick. There's only one guy taking this free kick. Yeah, <laughs> I, d I think if Bale had said to him, what about me, Sean? He'd have been told in English or Portuguese Mod where Mod to go. Modric again, though, superb. Getting that ball and driving his team forward. They had the option of Ronaldo out to the right-hand side. And it was just a little deflection stopped to get into him in the first place. He's got to shoot. There's no question about this. Six purposeful steps backwards. Here he comes forward. He shoots and hits the wall. And it rebounds towards the left side, towards Marcelo. Oh, good turn by Marcelo. Beats the defender. Into the penalty. Pulls it back. It's 4-1. And it's Morata. Morata. He's only been on the, get, on the pitch a few seconds. He scores the fourth. Clinching goal for Real Madrid. Though, be in no doubt, it was one before this goal. But it is Juventus one, Real Madrid four. How good was that from Marcelo? The touch, the turn, so quick, so sharp. In and around the penalty area, he knows the defender can't touch him. He goes past him with ease, but then picks his head up. Puts a superb ball in for a tap-in for Morata. What a goal, all over. <laughs> 
he's looking at the bench and he's like, oh, thank you for bringing me on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They have been brilliant this second half, Real Madrid. Absolutely superb. I mean, that was Ronaldo's free kick that rebounded off the wall. Fantastic work by Marcelo. Getting into the penalty, pulling it back, and it's into the net in a flash for Real's fourth goal of the night. But he's got the calmness, Marcelo, to pick his head up, to look into the box and see where he is, pick out Morata, superb finish. Mea culpa, it's Asensio. Sorry, Asensio, my Asensio. apologies. No, no, getting no, all no, excited. No, 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 we both were, but it's Asensio. It was still great play from Marcelo. Yes, it was still great play from Marcelo. <laughs> <laughs> we made the goal, oh dear. <laughs> Cheers now for Juventus fans. And Navas celebrates. Think back to that save he made in the opening minutes of the game. Asensio in the 90th minute. And how much time will be added on? Four minutes. It's a bit mean, actually. But I think Juventus have had enough. Now down to ten men and 4-1 down Marcelo uh, tries to feed the ball forward it's handled by Daniel Alves it's a free kick a free kick uh, to Real Madrid but the turn and the technique from Marcelo and when he gets in there to have the ability to pick his head up and pick Asensio out and put it on a plate for him basically he's six yards out there you go have a tap in here's Sergio Ramos Sergio Ramos will be the first to lift this Champions League trophy in successive seasons and now they're attacking again Real Madrid but the ball hits a defender and Juve managed to clear it towards this near side of the field the end of the game can't come quickly enough for them now but Real win the ball back with Casimiro who scored the second goal to put the Spanish side in front in the second half after the Mandzukic wonder goal had levelled it at 1-1 in the first half. We, we forget about that now, <laughs> the quality of that goal. Such is the quality of the Madrid performance in the second half, Alan. Yeah, and the first half, they played their part in a very, very op good opening 45 minutes, but there's only been one team in this in the second half. Absolute total dominance. Here's Bale, a minute of added time remaining before the Spanish celebrations can begin properly. And Bale wins the ball again. Bale coming forward. Bale shoots. Uh, blocked by the defender. Rebounds to Juventus' possession. They've got it in this near side of the field. Uh, impossible to score three goals that would take us into extra time. But they have got a free kick. Gareth Bale had the option there, you know, to, to pass that in. It was a simple, much simpler pass to pass Morata in down the left-hand side. But he wasn't going to pass. He wanted to score. He wants a bit of glory himself. Uh, ooh, that was a... Uh, an arm raised on the far side of the field and the referee spotted it uh, don't make it worse Juventus you've already had one player sent off that was Mandzukic who raised his arm it's definitely a free kick to Real Madrid I'm counting down the 10 seconds that remain such a contrast from one end of the stadium at the, mo at the moment depression to the right celebration to the left and now the celebrations start properly the final whistle is gone and it's another fantastic triumph for Ronaldo and for Real Madrid and for Zinedine Zidane he is a coach that's retained the title in two successive seasons they were awesome the second half they were a very good first half but whatever Zidane said to them at half time it worked to perfection because they couldn't get near them Juventus in the second half their passing was too quick for them the thinking was too quick for them and the ability that they showed in the second half they picked their passes at the right time they went at them they were aggressive in their forward play and they dominated in the second half it was great to watch and Ronaldo again the way he took his second goal the way he floated into the uh, into the space and we've given that um, defensive back line so much praise this season in big games but tonight they were outdone and they were outdone by Ronaldo and the quick play from the Real Madrid players and such sportsmanship from Gigi Buffon you know he's made sure he's embraced every single Real Madrid in his vicinity no matter his disappointment it's been a great performance and even though they ran away with it in the second half Alan such was the quality of Madrid's play it didn't 
diminish the triumph in any way whatsoever. It wasn't as if we thought, ah, Juventus have given up. It was the Real Madrid were that good. They were that good, and you've got to give them huge credit for that. Because, as I said, they got hold of the ball. And it, it, every opportunity, every single player, whenever they got the ball, it seemed as if they had time to take a touch, to turn, to pick their head up, to play the next pass. And they were just too good and too quick for that Juventus team in the second half. Is it a Ronaldo tramp or is it a Madrid tramp? You know what I mean? You know, you know what Ronaldo's like. Well, they say, don't they? Big players turn up in big games. Ronaldo has again. Real Madrid have beaten Juventus by four goals to one.